your weigh-in show for a cracker at York Hall tomorrow night live on TNT Sports. The return of Dennis the Menace McCann taking on your Newt Baluta. The fighters are going to weigh in very shortly, but let's have a little chat first with, with a master trainer, a master manager, a master podcaster, a master genius. What what what, what can't you go, do, Tundia Joy? Keep it going, keep it going. Hey, go keep it going. You shadow box. Let, let, yeah, shadow shadow box. let me shadow box. Let me, let's have a little, let's have a little. Go. <laughs> that was a private yeah. school shadow box. <laughs> I got hit in that shadow box. That's how they shadow box in private schools. You went to a private school, in it. I, I certainly did not. I, I went to an absolutely terrible school. Uh, no offence uh, to, to those guys. But how, how you doing, my friend? Fine, thank you. All, all the better for seeing you now, sir. Good, and vice versa. Tell me Easy. about... Tell me about Dennis McCann. You are uh, you study the game, right? You yes. see kids coming through all the time. This kid has hype around him. 22 years yes. old, looks set to go all the way to the top, but this is the step-up fight in Baluta. Yes, I think... Um, Every so-called prospect reaches a stage in their career where they really have to uh, show what they're about. You know, um, all the hype. The, th the thing I personally love about Dennis McCann is you can see his dedication and the way he speaks and the, the confidence in which uh, not only does he fight, but he actually speaks outside of the ring, you know, the social media stuff. He's just a confident guy. He reminds me of a, a, a young Billy Joe Saunders uh, and, the and he's got the, the skill set to back it up, you know, um, has some great fights, 14-0 currently. I remember, I think he was the first person to stop uh, James Beach. You remember correctly. Junior. And, um, but this is a real fight. Yeah. You know, this yeah. is a real fight. Baluta, and um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, Baluta. Yeah, Baluta. Yeah. I remember, you know, he, he just about lost against Mick Conlon, two-time world yeah. title challenger, and um, also got a victory over Andrew Kane. Mm -hmm. In his last Take, fight. In his that's, last that's fight, taking, yeah. that's an upset. Yeah. You know, Andrew, a lot of stuff was promised uh, for Andrew Kane, but, you know, he's young, he can bounce back. Mm -hmm. But it just goes to show that uh, Baluta is a, is a real test, mm -hmm. and um, I'm, for one, I'm going to be looking forward to it. It feels like the next step. Dennis McCann's career if we yes. focus on McCann a little bit he's had those fights to learn same as your, your man Joel Kadua is on the show as well he's yes. having his fourth fight it's those early fights to learn it feels like this now fight number 15 is where he starts progressing towards a world title and starts earning yes it's the it's the projection a prospect takes uh, Dennis has he's had the amateur career great amateur career and uh I just feel like he himself wants to prove to everybody that he is what he says, you know. And I, obviously, we know the first confidence is self-confidence, and, and Dennis doesn't like that one bit. And, uh, and neither do you, Tunde Joy. Well, we neither try. do you. We try. But it's not about me tonight <laughs> or tomorrow. Or tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Or the day after. Well, no, it's always about you, Tunde. Come on, what are you saying? But, are you but saying? Dennis is the man. Yeah. I, I'm a great, I'm a great supporter mm -hmm. of him. I've watched him as a young kid, and, I, and I'm, I'm watching him now. In a bit on a big stage, mm -hmm. and I feel that uh, it's down to him. Ultimately, you know, you can have all the fans and the, the support and everything, but but the fighter himself knows or feels he knows when he's ready, and he feels he's ready. And I just feel that it could be the night. Okay, well, look, let's get a quick word. We're about to go and weigh the fighters in, but let's have a quick word from you on your man Joel Cordua. Fight number four for him. Yes. How's he looking? Joel is a is like a, a rough diamond. You know, another Anthony Yard situation. Uh, don't get me wrong, they're totally two different fighters. Uh, but when I say that, I'm, I'm just talking about the amateur uh, pedigree. Hardly any amateur fighters, 12 yeah, fighters. Yeah. So, you know, we're bringing him nice and slowly. And uh, I don't want to be putting too much pressure on him because I think he's already got the pressure because he's in the same stable as Anthony course, Yard. Uh, but tomorrow night, he should come through. You know, uh, we're going ahead of time just like we did with Anthony. He was supposed to have four four rounders in his first years. It's a six round tomorrow night. So let's hope that um, everything goes well. He's looking great in training camp. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it too. Joel Kadua could be another diamond in the rough. Absolutely. Sundi, thank you for speaking to me. Yes, and guys, we'll join you. Uh, well, you will join us. Stick with us. Very shortly, we'll be on the stage. Everyone will be weighing in. We saw the face-off yesterday between Dennis McCann and Baluta. We saw a little Dennis the Menace little pop-up sign. They were smiling. <laughs> they were laughing. They were <laughs> holding each other's biceps. All sorts was going on. Stick with us and let's see what happens here today. Yes, sir. I'm coming for a demolition. I think a big KO is coming. Yeah, on the back foot and brings him onto the hook. Right on the belt. Well, Dennis McCann, he's flash and he's brash. He's
is unbeaten and he's now the Commonwealth Super Bantamweight Champion. He is a complete rave lunatic. Goes from Carl to just arm him, and everyone knew him. Got a half second. Back to up onto the road. There's a good left up there. The referee jumps in.
Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to London and welcome to the official weigh-in ahead of an absolute cracker. Tomorrow night, live on TNT Sports, from the home of British boxing of York Hall, we've got Dennis McCann, the main event, the unbeaten super bantamweight sensation, taking on the toughest fight of his career in your newt Baluta. This is the weigh-in process. We're going to have everyone up on the stage. Everyone's going to do their little face-offs. And, uh, well, look... Let's get on with it. The first contest of the evening will be six rounds in the super welterweight division. Let's first welcome to the scales. He has over 80 contests to his credit. Please welcome from Nicaragua, Eligio Palacios. That, yeah, that's Tundi Ajoy. <laughs> This will be six rounds in the super welterweight division tomorrow evening at York Hall. And Eligio Palacios will be the opponent for Joel Kodua, trained by Tundi Ajay, who's currently on the stage. One hundred and fifty-six pounds and six ounces for Eligio Palacios. And now let's welcome to the scales his opponent. He is unbeaten with a record of three wins and no defeats. Please welcome from Newham, JFK, Joel Cordua. One hundred and fifty one pounds and nine ounces for Joel Cordua. And we'll get a face off down the front here. This will be six rounds in the super welterweight division tomorrow night at York Hall at British Boxing Spiritual Home. It's a seven fight card, four title fights, live on TNT Sports. All right, six rounds in the super welterweight division tomorrow night at York Hall, Joel Kadua and Eligio Palacios. Our next bout, who we will invite to the scales, let's first welcome, he has eight contests to his credit from Sofia, Bulgaria, Nikola Stoyanov. Nicholas Stoyanov in action tomorrow night. Six rounds in the super welterweight division and he takes on Khalid Ali. £153 and five ounces for Nicholas Stoyanov. And now let's welcome to the scales. He is unbeaten with a record of five wins and no defeats with three wins coming by way of knockout. From Brick Lane, Khalid, the Bengal Tiger, Ali. £155 and 7 ounces for the Bengal Tiger, Khalid Ali. Be six rounds in the super welterweight division. Well, there we have it, six rounds in the super welterweight division tomorrow night. 
as I'm stuck behind a hell of a security guard here. I'll start, I'll start right behind you, Mick. <laughs> Our next contest, who we will invite to the scales now, it's six rounds in the featherweight division. Please first welcome to the scales. He has a record of 15 wins, seven defeats and two draws. With nine wins coming by way of knockout, please welcome from Nicaragua, Kevin Trana. One hundred and twenty-seven pounds and five ounces for Kevin Trana. All right, now let's welcome to the scales. He is unbeaten with a record of six wins and no defeats. Please welcome from Ilford, Umar Khan. One hundred and twenty-eight pounds and eight ounces for Umar Khan. We'll get the face-off on the stage, please, gentlemen. Face off on the stage, please. This will be six rounds in the featherweight division tomorrow night from York Hall. Let's continue with the weigh-in process here. Our next contest is for the WBC International Featherweight Championship. It'll be ten rounds, and let's first welcome to the scales the challenger. She joins us from Sao Paulo, Brazil. She is unbeaten with a record of nine wins and no defeats. Please welcome Lila Furtado. Leila Furtado will be the challenger tomorrow night, live on TNT Sports from York Hall. She takes on the champion, Raven Chapman, who is unbeaten in six fights. Leila Furtado unbeaten, Raven Chapman unbeaten. Someone's O has got to go, live on TNT Sports. £123 and six ounces for the challenger, Leila Furtado. All right, now let's welcome to the scales. She is unbeaten with a record of six wins and no defeats. She is the reigning, defending, undefeated WBC international featherweight champion, the Omen, Raven Chapman. One hundred twenty-five pounds and seven ounces for the champion, Raven Chapman. Raven, if you come this side. If you Ten rounds for the WBC International Featherweight Championship tomorrow night, live on TNT Sports. Our next contest is another title fight, another one of four title fights, live tomorrow night from York Hall. Let's first welcome to the scales... He joins us from Andalusia, Spain. He has a record of 12 wins with only one defeat. Please welcome Juan Jesus Antunes.
129 pounds and three ounces for one Jesus and two years. The vacant WBC International Super Featherweight Championship on the line. Now let's welcome to the scales, unbeaten already on the scales, unbeaten in 13 fights, Ryan the Piranha Gana. One hundred and twenty-eight pounds, three ounces for Ryan the Piranha Ghana. Right on this side, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. WBC International Super Featherweight Championship on the line tomorrow night from York Hall. The return of Ryan the Piranha Ghana. His first title fight. All right, vacant WBC International Super Featherweight Championship on the line. Ryan Garner and Juan Jesus Antunes. It's now time to welcome to the scales the fighters involved in the contest for the British and Commonwealth Featherweight Championships. Let's first introduce the challenger. He joins us from Birmingham, England. He has a record of 17 wins with only one defeat and one draw. Please welcome Raza Hamza! One hundred and twenty six pounds exactly for the challenger, Raza Hamza. All right, now let's welcome to the scales. He is unbeaten with a record of twelve wins and no defeats. He joins us from Bearsden, Scotland. We are just double checking Raza Hamza's weight here. There has been a dispute from Nathaniel Collins camp. We okay? We all good? We're all good. Raza Hamza has indeed made weight the challenger tomorrow evening for the British and Commonwealth Featherweights Championships. Now let's welcome to the scales, unbeaten, with a record of 12 wins and no defeats, he is the reigning, defending, undefeated British and Commonwealth Featherweight Champion, Nathaniel the Nightmare Collins. One hundred and twenty-five pounds and seven ounces. Both fighters make weight for this British and Commonwealth featherweight championship clash. Let's get a face-off now. Well, Raza Hamza. And Nathaniel Collins just putting some trainers on, getting a little bit of uh, fluids back in the body. I've been told to let all the fighters and teams know that there is a rules meeting next door. Please go and attend that after the weigh-in process has finished here. But let's get this face-off now between the man they call the nightmare, Nathaniel Collins, and Raza Hamza. Queensbury debut for Nathaniel Collins. British and Commonwealth titles on the line at Featherweight. All on the line tomorrow night on TNT Sports from York Hall. The Queensbury debut of Nathaniel the Nightmare Collins defending his British and Commonwealth featherweight titles against Raza Hamza. Raza Hamza says it's his last chance. Nathaniel Collins says he is fighting to put food on his table. All on the line tomorrow night. It's now time to welcome to the scales our main event participants. The WBO Intercontinental Super Bantamweight Championship is on 
the line. Let's first welcome one of the challengers, because they're both challengers for this. It is a vacant belt. Let's welcome to the scales. He is the WBC International Silver Champion. He has a record of 16 wins with only four defeats and three wins coming by way of knockout from Romania via Madrid. Please welcome Yonut Il Capo Baluta. One hundred and twenty-one pounds and six ounces for your newt, Il Capo Baluta. All right, now let's welcome to the scales. He is unbeaten with a record of 14 wins and no defeats. With eight wins coming by way of knockout, he is the reigning Commonwealth champion. Please welcome from Maidstone, Dennis the Menace McCann. One hundred and twenty one pounds and seven ounces for Dennis the Menace McCann. The vacant WBO Intercontinental Super Bantamweight Championship on the line. That belt you can see right now in the middle. We're going to get some photos. We're going to get a face off. Seen by many as the big step up in the career of Dennis McCann. Yonuk Baluta has his own ideas. He's upset many a prospect in the past, but Dennis McCann will be looking to get the job done. Let's get some photos. Let's get a face off. The other way, boys. Huh? Yeah, Dennis, you come inside. Uh -huh. The vacant WBO Intercontinental Super Bantamweight Championship on the line live on TNT Sports tomorrow. I think they're going to face off again. <laughs> Great face off. Dennis. Oh, I think we're about to see some Haribo. <laughs> Dennis, let's get, get a quick word with you before you leave the stage, please, my friend. Please come stand here. A lot of people have turned out for you. A lot of people understand this is a big fight for you. You've now... Oh, you want the dressing gown as well? No? Let's, get, let's, get him, let's get him in the dressing gown. I'm looking, I'm looking like Magic Mike here. I'll put this dressing gown on first. <laughs> Dennis, on some... It looks like a bit of a strip show. <laughs> Listen, a couple of very easy questions. Firstly, you had a bit of fun up there in the face-off. It seemed to actually get quite intense. What were you saying to him? I was telling him he knows who the man is because he does know who the man is. And tomorrow night he's going to see... Who his daddy is, trust me. Did you see anything in his eyes that, that's giving you extra belief, extra confidence? Hey, listen, he knows, he already knows who the man is. I said this to him already. He reckons I'm a kid. He's me, basically, he's my granddad, so he can take, he's supposed to be taking me to school, but I'll fuck him into bed, don't worry about that. Finally, Dennis, what's your message to all the fans? They've turned out for you here today. They'll be turning out tomorrow at a sold-out York Hall, TNT Sports. Tell them something. Tune in tomorrow night. As I said, get your popcorn ready, because I'm, I'm all out action, as always. And this ain't going the distance, in my opinion. Trust me. All right, let's hear it for Dennis the Menace McCann. And the new, let's go. Belusa, you want to grab a quick word, Anise? Anise, tell your newt baluta. Okay, okay. He's got he's got the abs back out. He's ready to go. I heard you call him Bambino. Do you see him as just a little kid? Yeah. Sí, porque 
Ahora estamos boxeadores grandes, está a un nivel muy grande. Esta cosa se hace de niño, con Joribo, con hablarle. Este es el boxeo, estoy listo para mañana. Uh, 100% voy a ganar este combate y voy a dar un gran espectáculo como siempre. Yeah, he's, um, he's got childish tendencies. He's still acting like a kid. You see that with the way he speaks and the way he's given the Haribos and everything. So tomorrow he's looking forward to it. You know, he's ready for it. And he said tomorrow, yes, sir, yes, he's going to be winning and he's going to take that belt home. What did your new see in the eyes of Dennis McCann just now? ¿Qué tú ves en los juegos? ¿Qué? En el, en el auto, en el auto. Siempre yo veo miedo. <laughs> he said he's, he saw death. Okay, and uh, what's your final uh, final prediction for tomorrow night? How's the fight going to go? Mañana va a ser un gran espectáculo, una batalla de verdad. Yo estoy preparado para él y siempre hacer espectáculo y a por victoria. Siempre, 100%, 100%. He's ready for a great fight tomorrow night. And as always, Blue is going to win. And always and always, it's going to be a grand spectacular fight. Tune in tomorrow night. There you go. Couldn't have said any better. Thank you. Yonut, thank you. Anise Taj. What a fight. What a fight in prospect. Tomorrow night, live on TNT Sports from British Boxing Spiritual Home of York Hall. You've seen the face-off. You've seen the hype. You've seen them talking to each other. Yonut Baluta, Dennis McCann, the WBO Intercontinental Super Bantamweight title on the line. We'll see you tomorrow. I'm coming for a demolition job. I think a big KO is coming. Brings him onto the hook. Right on the belt. Well, Dennis McCann is flash and he's brash. He's unbeaten and he's now the Commonwealth Super Bantamweight Champion. He is a complete rave lunatic. Got some calm. We just thought I'm going to murder everyone in the room. We've got a half second. Back to up onto the road. There's a good left up there. The referee jumps in. You.